if you just run it through that grain, well, the first thing it would do without any heat on it would choke up. And so we are, uh, all the, everybody puts heat on it. Then after that, after you put a little heat on it and it comes through all of your, uh, your dryers, your incline cleaners, and then into your uh, uh, dis uh, conveyor distributor who distributes over your gin stand. But then the cotton, you know, it's, uh, it's tore up by what they call a dispersal drum. And it's uh, all handled by air. Uh, air handles all, moves all the cotton, uh, practically through all of, the, all of the pipes and everything. Now you will have machines like your stick machine, your incline cleaners, all of them move it by cylinders within the machine. But they all have air either drawing on them or picking up underneath them. So all through the cleaning seed cotton, you have many machines. So uh, after the ginning process, uh, it goes back to the lint cleaners and they clean all the that much more pepper trash and what they call little naps or moats out of it goes down the lint slide into the press. There at the press, uh, we gen about 28 to 30 bells an hour here at Caldwell. Not very much. I mean, some of these gins gin 75 and 80 with a whole lot less labor than we have. But uh, that's something that works for us, works for our customers. So that's what we've stayed with. The government doesn't consider 500 pound a bale. They consider it 479, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm from old school. I think 500 pounds is a bale of cotton. Now you're not gonna hit 500 pounds every day, every bale out there on that press. You, but you try to average 500 pounds. And we average about 499 to 502 over the whole long haul. It may go up to 5.5 five or 4.95. And uh, when we bail the cotton up, uh, put the bag on it, put the permanent identification uh, uh, tag on it, uh, take a sample out of each side of the bale and uh, put the class card in there with it and send it to USDA for grading. And that's what the producer gets paid off of. What comes back from the USDA classing office in Memphis is what he gets paid on for. And uh, then uh, we stack it in 88 bale lots and it is trucked over to Cargill in Memphis. And then after that, they send it to all the different people that they have customers all over the world.